So far, the Baguio food scene has blown me away. I'm so happy right now. It has that nice chard flavor. Is it nice? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's so nice. I've gotten to try smoked meats. So smoky. Ooh, it's so good. Pig snout. Just the flavor is so, so good. That is a winner. Pork blood. Such a, a great comfort food. And even bao soup. That was really good. So happy I finally get to try this. Today, Mountain Man Chevy has taken me to Farmer's Daughter. God. Exactly. A restaurant located in the hills of Baguio. Founded, as the name says, by two daughters of farmers, here I get to try not only local favorites Mix Mix and Blood Sausage. Really good. But also one of the controversial but world famous culinary challenges, Etak. Etak basically consists of pork, salted and then sun-dried for several weeks to not only preserve the meat, but also develop a deep, salty flavor. Oh, that's good. So satisfying. In the past, Etak has amassed a reputation of being covered in maggots and other insects, but this couldn't be further from the truth today. Yes, traditional processing in the mountain tribes often led to infestation due to the underlying circumstances, but modern meat smokers and chefs have adapted and now create this delicacy in controlled environments covering all necessary health protocols. This is the prosciutto of the Philippines. If you guys are enjoying today's vlog and are new around here, please hit that subscribe button, turn on the notifications and give the video a like. If you really want to support us on the channel, you can give us a super thanks. Your comment will be highlighted, you receive a small animation and we'll respond to every comment. Thank you! Every now and then, a really, really special restaurant pops up in these cities around the Philippines. And right now, we are at one of those special restaurants. We are here at the Farmer's Daughter, a place that's supposed to have very uh, traditional Cordilleras, right? Cordilleras food, Cordilleras cuisine, comfort food. And we're going to try some of the dishes they have here, specifically like the smoked sausage and the pat pat. Paco. <laughs> so specifically the smoked sausages and the Paco. So there's a huge line out here. You really have to be lucky to get a table. And I think today we're gonna get lucky. So let's go. Okay, so here we can see the menu. And uh, the menu it's all in uh, Ilocano. And Kinudai means smoked. So really, really cool. And the name actually comes uh, because they, they're both daughters of farmers that started this restaurant. So it's really, really cool. It's a very cool place. I also like the design. It kind of reminds a little bit of like Balinese design with the roof. We we'll let you try the pirunit. It's like a blood sausage. All right. Oh, nice. I love blood sausage. I'm half British, so exactly. You know? Is there actually No, no. So cool. So heavy duty. That's the. Yeah. That's the wood there. So are we trying Itag as well today? Uh, we could get it. Yeah, if they have. Definitely want to try it. It's another one of those foods where so many people say, you have to try the Itag, so. <laughs> nice. Such a cool spot here. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> it's a, it's a, a bowl. A bowl beats everything. <laughs> the skull of the caramel, it's more like a status symbol. Because um, back in their village, if you see a lot of those, it means they butchered a lot of, mm. of, of, of uh, like a pig or a very type of uh, cow. So, yeah, it's more of a status symbol, meaning you have uh, lot, lots of cattle and, 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 and pork. Yeah. So, it's interesting, uh, Etag has been some like highly requested on the channel, suggested for me to try it in the past. And uh, I just learned today that Etag is more used as kind of a uh, flavoring agent. So, you use it to kind of give the dish a little bit more flavor. You know what I'd like to try? A carbonara, but using Etag instead of uh, guanciale. You could do that, uh, but for itag, itag, there's the various. The kinudai is smoke, yeah. lesser salt, but the, the itag is just sun dried, so they, mm. they sun dry that for uh, like a month or more, okay. but it's heavily salted, that's yeah. why they put it for soup. It's like the pork, pork cubes, yeah. Yeah. that gives it the body and the flavor. Nice. 
these look so good. Here we have the smoked sausages that look absolutely stunning. I love it how they just popped out of the shell and kind of like oozing out. Look at that. That looks nice. Mm. Mm. Sweet, salty and succulent. It's not too smoky. Yeah. The smoke, like smoke is like very, very light. And it's just so delicious. Yeah, really good. I like how it's just well balanced. It's not too sweet, it's not too salty. It's like right, right in the middle. Really craftfully done. Mm. So we here we have the blood sausage, which uh, in the UK they call it blood pudding. Yeah. So it's a combination of all the innards and blood. And then put inside a thick case. But this is like a pork uh, blood. Yes, yes. Yeah. It's really well done because it's not, it doesn't have that irony metallic yeah, yeah, yeah. taste that you yes, usually yes, get yes, from yes. like blood sausage. Then here we've got a chunk of liver. You can feel immediately when yeah. you poke into it with the, with the pork, it's like dense. Mm. That's good. Yeah. And then the pork. Again, super tender. We've got some hard pieces on here. Oh yeah, I'm using the serving thing again. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> that always happens. Oh, it's really good, succulent, juicy, proud, great flavor. Mm. I think I want to get a bit of a dipping sauce going here again. Mm. That goes good with anything. The calamansi, the chili, and the soy sauce, so good. How's that? Good? <laughs> this is mix mix. If you translate it in Filipino, it becomes a dessert. Uh -huh. <laughs> halo halo. Halo halo. <laughs> I would have wanted it more crispy, but it's fine. <laughs> but again, I'm looking for rice. I want to eat this with rice. All yeah. the <laughs> I think I can see the. This is the itam. Oh, nice. Ah, uh, it's bits and pieces, I think. Seems like chopped etag. But I'll show you etag later, I have enough. Oh, okay, perfect, yeah. <laughs> so here we have uh, in the soup, what's the name of the soup again? It's Pinik Pikan. Pinik Pikan. Yeah. So it has just these uh, bits and pieces of the etag inside that will give the soup more flavor so you really can taste it. I'm gonna try the broth by itself first. Oh, that's good. Yeah. You know, this almost reminds me of like Japanese ramen. Yeah. Like the ramen broth, like a tonkatsu or yeah. something like that. That's actually what we do in the room, the kitchen as well. We put noodles there. Yeah, because it has that that uh, that rich, rich yeah. creamy yeah. almost uh, that's, flavor. That's because of the etag. Yeah. Because the etag, when it's uh, around three months already, it turns into yellow. Mm. Yellowish. Nice, and then it just emulsifies into the soup when it's cooking for a while. Mm. That is so good. I just had like a, I think it was almost like pork skin. That also is just like so soft, soft already. Let me try some of the, is this chicken you said yes, or is it yes. pork? It's chicken. Yes, chicken. Very nice. So satisfying. It's another one of those cold weather dishes. Yeah. And plus, if you have a very bad hangover, that's a yes. good one. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay, Pilip Pican is usually done for rituals. The manner of butchering the Pilip Pican is uh, they, pat, they pat the wings and the thighs with uh, like a stick. Okay. Uh, and then instead of like uh, dressing it and boiling it with boiling with hot water and removing the feathers. This one they torch it. So ah. that's why there's a smoky, smoky yeah. taste. Yeah, the smoky taste, really cool. Interesting. All right, we've arrived at the grand finale. We have here a crazy good looking uh, piece of ube cake. It looks so, so fluffy and so, so inviting. So I'm just gonna, just gonna, dig in. just gonna dig in. Oh, look how soft, beautiful sponge cake. Big piece for Mike. That's so nice when you just ate all these hearty fatty meats yeah. and then you get the sponge cake to soak everything up. Whole pieces of... Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm making a mess again. Oh my god. <laughs> One would think as a somebody that eats for a living, I'd do it better. <laughs> this is rare in Manila. 
because <laughs> yeah. you know in Manila it's not really real ube, but here this one is real. Yeah. Mm. I like that. You know I'm not the type to eat dessert because I don't like sweet. Yeah. But even this is not too sweet, so yeah, this is fine. Nice. Mm. Good. Hey guys, this was another phenomenal food experience here in Baguio. As always, all details are going to be in the description box down below. Plus, I'll put a little summary of the spaces that I visited here in Baguio on this trip. Plus, there's going to be a playlist specifically about all the Baguio places that we visited. If you enjoyed today's vlog, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you again, Chavi, for uh, bringing me here. By the way, also in the description box, you'll find uh, Chavi's Instagram account, Chavi and Millie's. He's the mountain man. And uh, I'll be filming another video on his on their rooftop today where we're going to have a crazy good food experience. So definitely subscribe and turn on the notifications for that. If you enjoyed today's video, thumbs up, subscribe if you do. See you guys tomorrow. Same time, same best room. Stay awesome, be positive, and make it happen. <laughs> Bye-bye. Make it happen. <laughs> I can't do what you're doing, Mike. This is hard. It, it looks easy when you watch the, the vlog, but this is really hard, eating again and again and again. <laughs>